everyone, welcome back to Cavern Crabs. <laughs> Cavern Crabs, Turtle Crabs. <laughs> All right. Do you know what's interesting? What? So, half of this game, I thought Dallin Tarth was Dallin Earth. Like that's, you know how sometimes you read a word so fast? Yeah, I, I actually would not be surprised if it was the exact same thing. So, the that guy is busy. So let's. Does the hammer do less damage? That is disappointing. Just oh, trap from everyone. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> that's true. But come on, I, li I like to switch it up a little bit. Otherwise, I'm just the most one-trick ponies of them all. Even mm -hmm. though Shockram seems to be the, like the most, the best weapon in the game. Oh, now, what is, what that is she doing? doing? She's just, you know, she's just dancing she's there. A, she's a rogue. She has Look to. Look at her. I know her <laughs> legs aren't bending. She has decided she is now one of those uh, turtle crabs and is uh, mimicking mim uh, mimicking them as best as possible. Look mm -hmm. at her. Mm -hmm. That's really silly. Okay, let's go kill this thing. It seems to be. Ruh, 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 ruh. Are they forcing it to? Okay, uh... hold on. Can I do this? Okay, let's see if I can do this. Just whack it in the butt. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do. I don't know if you have the range for it. Got him. He was not happy about it though. Okay, so it looked like he was actually smashing in some sort of. I don't know. Was he trying to pry a, a large log pin into the wall? To... I don't know. He actually does a lot of damage too. Like even my blocky nonsense is. Ow. Oh, maybe I still blocked it. Let's block that though. Yeah, it does damage. That's blow him up in the face. That does not do as much damage as I would want. I guess what I should really do is switch back to the Greatsword at some point and use the Chakrams because let's be serious here. So, okay, so I've been complaining about the dodge pretty much the entire time we've been playing this game. Hmm. It's you have a much faster response time blocking than dodging. That makes no sense to me. I mean, is that a problem for you? Me? I mean, I mean, I suppose it would be easier to fling yourself in one direction than to raise a shield from your back. Yeah, especially in the right direction. Whereas if somebody shot me behind right this very moment. I would quickly turn around and block it with a shield. <laughs> Makes no sense to me whatsoever. And that will get that will never get fixed. Uh, I wish they hadn't closed down. I mean, this game is fairly good, even though it probably could deal with some uh, bug fixing. But, hey. Okay, so we've got... Tuatha. Mm-hmm. With Fey Blades. Cool looking Fey Blades, actually. Can mm -hmm. I have their stylist? He seems cool. <laughs> I don't know, you might get some Fey yeah, armor later. Pr probably once we start invading. Ah, he hit me. They all hit me. I like the... Ah, get out of my face. Oh, and if you're really good with the timing on the blocks... Whoa. I'm not good enough on the timing of the blocks there, but if you're really good at the timing, you can even uh, counterattack with your shield as kind of like a shield bashy type thing. But like, here. It's too bad I... they actually didn't show... Did the troll break? Oh no, he's not broken. He was just semi-broken. Mm-hmm. Now nah, it's interesting when enemies stop in mid-battle and they're just like, hmm... Oh, got him on the stun. Yeah, I noticed fire stuns enemies easily, which is really convenient. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just... I uh, think fire is also well done in this game. It's it's a nice stylized burn, as opposed to anything else. Mm -hmm. I really wish the healing spell didn't have as much of a cooldown. Okay, we are full up on fey power, and you were telling me to save it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it would be this far. The dungeons are always super long, remember? Mm-hmm. Though, uh, I think I was kind of mentioning this, but to this game's credit, none of the dungeons look particularly the same, even though they generally use the same tile set. 
but like in this one they've got a bunch of logs and more logs but still a lot of the same hallmarks you know stone walls glowy shit torches but it still feels like a different dungeon mm, like look look at this yeah i'm just i'm just gonna save compulsively because i really hate redoing things Looks like the two that I've been wait working here i should come this take this morning, opportunity to heal myself up and then she just gets kill stabby mm -hmm. so i guess let's but yeah, yeah they... station yes it's an alchemy station Back here, dick biscuit. <laughs> uh, not get the shield up fast enough. Though I did manage to kill him somehow. Yep, and that was just the troll. I wouldn't be surprised if creatures that were, you know, still not tasked to fight one another, but if they had sort of like a friendly fire thing going on. I think this game does actually have that. Where, uh, if they're not within the, like, same faction, they can't hit each other. But maybe I'm wrong. I just swear I've seen a troll hit a Tawatha before. Mm -hmm. Wow. My whole blocking thing seems useless. Half the time I just kind of knock him down with my chakrams. Makes the little hammer thing seem useless. Okay, it's a Sagecraft altar. Which is also useless to me. Bodies. Yes. Bodies I can't loot. Mm. Not so yes. Some chests. Chests that I can loot. Yes. Oh. Did I? Oh. I thought for a second I just like accidentally idiot softened this <laughs> bit. And just like wiggled it over. And it's like, ah, you got it. Yay. Nope. Okay. Let's... I think you would have if you'd kept it in the spot you initially put it at. Well, I didn't. That was just my controller being weird. Because I'm using the older one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, probably next year I'll start looking into replacing this one. Just because the thumbsticks are starting to wear down. And I should be able to feel the plastic underneath soon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so good, though. Like, if any of you out there watching this are in the market for controllers... Uh, I'm not much of an Xbox person, but man, do they make nice controllers. Mm -hmm. More chests with loot that I will never use. Great. I'm lazy. Uh, no, I don't want to use a prisoner pick. Anything? Seriously? Ooh. A fire shard. This is... A better help? Almost three times better. Yes. Mmm. So now we have a new helmet. Uh, hold on. We look really stupid in it. Glad we have helmets turned off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had started playing Tor a bit, and if you're a free-to-play player, you <laughs> don't have the option to toggle off your headgear. Which is extremely devious. But I guess it's EA slash Bioware at this point, so... Mm-hmm. No, they make you buy it. I mean, I put some money in so I could be a Twi'lek. Yeah, but, like, we if like. you put in a little bit, you get preferred status, which actually makes a lot of sense and works for me. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. Oh. Ooh, yeah, that that has all of the red junk on it. Hold on, before things start. Hey, don't you think that's a theme lately? Red crystals, red refuse, evil. Gee, that hurts. Okay. Mm -hmm. The answer is yes, but first... Not dying. Ow. <laughs> really, you just can't get swiped by that log. That was close. Watch out! No, she still got you even though you were blocking, huh? Yeah. Yep. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to be Dodge. a little bit more dodgy here. Because it looks like my shield block d prevents amounts of damage instead of anything. So, as long as I don't get physically whacked by her club... Oh, oh there was a crab in the way! <laughs> That's frustrating. Not doing much damage. Oh, hey! Stunned. Not for long. 
Mm -hmm. She's a boss. Uh, should not dodge away. It doesn't work. Uh, I'm almost out of my fast healer. Okay. Yeah, luckily she doesn't do as much range damage as the other person. Why can't Why I? Why aren't you doing anything? Oh, I'm out of mana. Yeah, since I'm not, uh, come on. Ouch. <laughs> it does give me full mana, though. Should you go into, like, purple mode soon? Uh, once she's to a third health. Jesus. She is a huge range. Whoa. Smacked her. Oh, stun, stun, stun. Honestly, though, it's kind of a trap. Mm-hmm. No, I know. Because I do you not in. want to get close. Oh, oh. I just sidestepped her. <laughs> Neat. That was nice. Oh, stun, stun. Okay, so pretty much after I've got her out of this. Oh. Whoa. Healing potion. Double healing potion. Okay. Actually blocked that one fully. Awesome. Watch out. Damn. Still damage. took off half your health. Yep. Okay, now are you gonna use purple? Uh, yes. Purple stuff time. Fate. Oh, you could have probably. Fate whammies for justice. She does not do much damage when I'm in fate whammy mode. You should have just gone to fate whammy earlier. You're taking her out like nothing. Uh, you know what? You I don't like using Deus Ex mode until I've truly fought the boss. Mm -hmm. To a degree, because there's just no fun in fighting a boss and insta-giving them with your superpowers. True. I mean, it's kind of cool when I'm playing Tower of Guns, and I can just shoot a boss once and it dies. But that's like a haha. -ha, keep now, moving. Now, what did you loot from the troll? I have no idea. Before you talk to... I will look. I will look later. Okay, I'm just wondering if she's going to demand you give whatever it was. No. Nice work. I see you haven't forgotten how to handle yourself in a fight. Still, this is bad. I didn't think the Tuatha would reach this far. At least not so soon. Obviously, the Tuatha have bigger plans than just killing you. Confusing the trolls with Prismir, trying to bring the war to Dalintar? Neeralim was right to be concerned. Aren't I always? But have patience. For now, why not take comfort in knowing that you saved Neeralim and his forest? Go, talk to the tree. I'm sure he'll allow you into Issa. I'll stay here and finish off any remaining to Arthur. I'll find you again when the time is right. Yeah, well, they really did uh, just stick crystals in her back. Mm-hmm. Though I think they might are supposed to be growing out. Either way, honestly. I can loot the crab. Please. Hi, crab. Do the crab dance. They're adorable. Okay, so yeah. there's the door. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I did uh, mention, though, was Tower of Guns. Uh, the guy who was making Tower of Guns, it's a solo project, he was one of the tech artists that worked on this game, mm -hmm. which was kind of an awesome coincidence to run across. But when uh, Studio 38 shut down and their half-completed MMO went with it, his, like, six years of work went out the window because so he got pissed when Indy and is making Tower of Guns. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this, go buy Tower of Guns. It's nothing like this game. It's probably objectively better, by my opinion. But that's because I like shooting things. <laughs> and it's an indie project made by one person as opposed to about a thousand. So are you going to level up at some point? Not in combat, obviously. Of course. Wow, that rock troll just doesn't do damage to me at all. Hammer time! Hammer, hammer, hammer time! I don't know. I'm out of rap, so I can't actually do the real rap. Uh, hammer time rap. <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. Oh, oh, okay, it's just a plant. It's like there's something glowy and golden. Oh, it's just nothing useless. Is there anything even over here worth anything? There's Pretty, a chest. Yeah. Well, it's just weird, stupid secret junk that isn't worth anything. Okay, so we're... The one problem is... 
keeps rumbling your controller. So where am I going? I'm going all the way back to Karen Narolim. Mm -hmm. Talk to the tree. And I forgot to time this episode, so we will talk to the tree, and then we will go from there. She is still there. Same patch of grass. Mm -hmm. I think dedication is not the right word to use for her. Mm. I don't even think obsessive compulsive is. I think it's neurosis at this point. Oh, you know, fey elves always have a reverence for plant life and whatnot. Now, I wonder what they mean by that the tree is atop the fey city. Uh, is, are they underground? Well, he said shade it in its twilight or something like that. I don't know. Let's go ask him about it and or just get into that because that's where we're going next. Mm-hmm. Because we have to ask him about that uh, fate, fate stone, or whatever it was. Talk to, uh, Sky... Uh, Surum... No. Suron, the green. There we go. Nice, Miralin. You return, and in your wake, Dalantarth blossoms. The flow is rearranged, now and forever. Nash's brood is at an end. You have destroyed what was written and made a new fate for Dalantarth. Even your darkest ally walks a lighter path. And yet the Tuatha still spread, marching with Prismere and pain. You have only delayed our doom. Can you help me? 76%. Okay, good odds. I was going to say this before we move on. I find it absolutely ridiculous that he's like, will you be a force for good or evil? And, like, you have no options. You have you are nothing but good. It, it, it sounds well, like you have be... the illusion of choice. But there's not even an illusion of choice. There's just, you're good. Deal with it. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm I tired think... of games giving me options. I think you only get the option at the end of a long quest line, sort of like what we did with the Fae. Only with the houses. There, I don't believe there are a whole lot of big choices in the middle of the gameplay. At least, we're six hours in and we have yet to run it. I have already given you much. Now you must know this, Quickling. The age is changing. Immortals are passing, and the future belongs to the young races. If there is a future to be had. Go, and stand at the heart of the Shi. There you will find Isa, and perhaps you will find wisdom as well. I had a 76% chance of succeeding, and you turned me down. I don't really know about that chance system because remember when you had like a 97% chance with that gnome and he ended up... <laughs> yeah, trying to stab us? You. Yeah. Oh well. So, I like this hammer, but I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. Also, you're floating. Yes, I am floating because this has no approximate position. It does just weird 3D model stuff where you're always just to be assumed to be standing on a flat surface. <laughs> uh... Skyrim kind of does it. Guild Wars does it fairly well where you, like, you, bend a leg. Yeah, yeah, you put one leg above the other. Yeah. A lot of modern games are starting to do that. This one's kind of right before that became a thing. But I'm, I'm okay with that. It's mostly just this neat little cosmetic trick people start doing. <laughs> anyway, we will continue this on the next... Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh, uh, leaves fall? Yes. We will continue this on the next episode of Wanderbots. We will see you guys then.